Second, our brothers in arms are with us here in the Gulf. British, Czech, and Australian troops are serving side by side with Americans with massive logistics provided by Kuwait, Bahrain, and Qatar. Third, uh, Kuwait uh, looks a bit uh, like England before the invasion of Normandy, uh, and that underscores uh, the diplomatic uh, success that we need from the UN inspections mission. I think Saddam has only one option, which is to comply with international law and the will of the Security Council. And last, if he does not comply with international law, Iraq faces uh, new wonder weapons uh, in the possession of the Allies. Uh, the Predator, which is in the Gulf, uh, the B-2, which is moving out here, and the JDAM, uh, which is a very, very accurate bomb that's uh, been very successful in Afghanistan. All of this underscores a key mission uh, that I think that there's no option but to allow the UN inspections to move forward and follow the will of international law.